Hey folks, welcome to my channel. I'm Daniel and today we continue the search for the best do-it-yourself black chrome product. In my last black chrome video, we compared Duplicolor Shadow Chrome to Metal Cast Smoke Anodized and Shadow Chrome won the competition. And today we are going to be trying some of the techniques you suggested in the comment section of the last video, as well as comparing Shadow Chrome to some new contenders. Up next. <laughs> So to quickly recap, I originally found Shadow Chrome a few years ago and I put it on the badges of my Cadillac CTS and within a couple of years it had all faded and chipped away. So when I went to redo it, I decided to make a video as well as try out a new product that was the Metal Cast Smoke Anodized Paint. I also tried to improve the quality of the black chrome finish by using Adhesion Promoter, which is like a clear primer so that you don't cover up that beautiful chrome finish. And I put clear coat on top. Now the Shadow Chrome kit comes with clear coat, but I have a feeling I never used it the very first time around for some reason. So uh, those two techniques seem to have helped. And uh, last week I did a review video giving you an update on how well it's holding up my badges 10 months later. So be sure to check out that video. I also address a ton of your comments from the last Black Chrome video. There should be a link right about here for you. If you haven't heard about Shadow Chrome, it's this two can system with a base coat that's essentially a tinted clear plus a can of clear coat. It's about $20, $25 from Amazon or your local auto parts store. The contenders for today are number one, a couple of different types of translucent vinyl used to tint headlights, but also listed as available for use on Chrome. Uh, so we're gonna try a dark and a light version of that, but vinyl isn't always the best thing, especially when you're working with small badges and lettering for your car, it's hard to work with. And they do make black chrome vinyl out there, but all the ones I've tested don't have quite the right sheen that I'm looking for. Plus, they are difficult to work with compared to other vinyls. Now the other paint contender today is Rust-Oleum's Black Colored Chrome. Rust-Oleum has a whole line of colored chromes, and I picked up this black one at AutoZone. I went looking for this product because one of you commented in my last video that it might be a good contender and I think it will be. Also today we will be applying 2K Clear to the products based on your suggestions from the comments in the last video. And if you're not familiar with 2K Clear, it's a spray can of clear coat, a lot like you've seen before, but it's about $20 because it's good stuff. You have to activate it with a button at the bottom and it mixes two components inside and it comes out much better with a lot more UV protection. It's closer to what you might find at a body shop. So we're gonna use 2K Clear hoping that it improves either the finish or the longevity or both hopefully, and we're gonna see how that works out. All right, let's get to this comparison. So to do this comparison, I picked up these large plastic chrome mirror covers, probably for some truck or something, and I got it on Amazon. I thought it was great because it's a big chrome surface where I could test different ways of applying the products. So first, let's try the vinyl. So first we have these two gloss translucent vinyls. One is light, one is dark. I got these at metrostyling.com where I get most of my vinyl. They applied pretty easily. Some tints are very plasticky, but this was definitely more like a vinyl. Even had air channels, but you had to work them out quite a bit. Otherwise you could see the air channel pattern through the vinyl. Once I got it on, they didn't look too bad, but not as good as I'd like. A little bit of texture there. And here they are compared to my Cadillac black chrome grill surround. It comes from the factory like this. And it looks like the lighter one is the best match, but either way, this look wasn't quite right. So we're not gonna do that. Okay, so since the vinyl isn't quite what we're looking for, let's get on to the paint. Now on each mirror cover, I'm gonna divide each one into six sections. Three of those sections are gonna get shadow chrome and three sections are gonna get Rust-Oleum's black color chrome. Of those three sections, there'll be one where the paint goes on the bare surface, another where it goes on a surface that's been treated with adhesion promoter, and another surface that's been scuffed up as you suggested in the comments of the last black chrome video. One mirror cover with both paints and all the types of surfaces will be coated in the lacquer clear that came with the shadow chrome, and the other mirror cover will be covered with 2K clear, and we'll compare the finishes and hopefully the longevity if I can stick these outside my house for a year or something. So the first step after some masking is to apply adhesion promoter. You just follow the instructions on the can and within 10 minutes of the last coat, I did three coats, we're gonna put in the base coat, which is shadow chrome in this case. 
So Shadow Chrome over the bare metal, the scuffed metal, as well as the metal that's been treated with adhesion promoter. I ended up doing three coats of Shadow Chrome because that's where I realized it looked the best. Last time I did five on the badge and it was definitely too dark. Four would probably be okay. Here's how it looks compared to regular chrome. It is definitely a tinted chrome and there's definitely a difference. While you're painting though, it may seem like you're not making much of a change. After that's dried, I've remasked and now I'm applying adhesion promoter over the sections that are gonna get the black color chrome. I may have made a mistake with this masking as the plastic had some paint on it, so you'll see the damage later. I did two light coats of the black chrome and then I decided to show you what a third coat would look like, so I just did a quick mask with this cardboard. Here's my plastic and the unfortunate thing it did to the finish. I'm glad these are just test pieces and a lot of this was able to be chipped off, not affecting the finish underneath, but uh, you can still see the results of our tests. So right here is where we did three coats of black color chrome and here is where we did two coats. There is a slight difference and the two coat one you can still sort of see through it, but by the third coat it's definitely more of an opaque paint. Now that I've got both mirror covers done with both shadow chrome and black chrome, I'm gonna go ahead and do the clear coat. One mirror cover is getting the Duplicolors clear coat. I'm doing three coats according to the instructions on the can. Next we'll do 2K clear on the other mirror cover. Now 2K clear is a urethane and generally you're not supposed to put that over acrylic lacquers like shadow chrome and a lot of other spray paints. You're supposed to wait three weeks before applying it to let the lacquer gas out. But on the internet, a lot of people say, nope, I've done it with no problems, especially if you do it right after applying the lacquer. So we're gonna see about that. I won't give you an update video on whether that holds up or if something changes over time, but I will post a pinned comment to this video in a few weeks to tell you if that problem is occurring at all. I really love the quality of the sprayer on the 2K Clear. It's a very wide spray pattern and the paint comes out really smooth. However, I highly recommend wearing a respirator. This stuff is definitely different than regular clear coats and it gets everywhere. When it settles on things in my garage, for example, it really settles compared to other clear coats. So you wanna make sure you make yourself a nice paint tent like I did and even then some got out and some parts of my garage had clear coat fallout. All right, it's been about a week. Let's take a look at our finishes. This is the black chrome with lacquer clear. Definitely some solid orange peel here. Uh, it was pretty smooth before the clear coat. Now here with the adhesion promoter, a lot of texture. Where it was scuffed up, it's a little smoother, but you can still see all those scuffs through the translucent shadow chrome. And with the black chrome, you can see the three layers on the left, two layers on the right. It's actually not too bad. Definitely some orange peel there, but less noticeable. With adhesion promoter, it's not as noticeable as it is with the shadow chrome. Now compare the lacquer clear on the left to the one with the 2K clear on the right. The reflectivity and smoothness of the finish is so much better on the 2K clear one as expected from a $20 can of spray paint. Looking a little closer, the top right corner panel is shadow chrome on bare metal and just a little bit of orange peel, maybe a little polish would help make this look perfect. On the left side is the black chrome and it looks very similar to with the lacquer, maybe a little less orange peel there, could definitely use some sanding and polishing. The lower section here, the black chrome covers the scuffs, but shadow chrome lets them show through. Adhesion promoter on shadow chrome with 2K clear isn't much better. You still see a lot of light refraction from the adhesion promoter and it's not quite as apparent on the black chrome covering. Out in the daylight, if you look closely at the reflections, you can see the difference in texture. This one here is the lacquer clear, and up top is the 2K clear. Just a better finish overall. Next, we're gonna do a little wet sanding and polishing to try to improve the finish on small sections of a couple of the areas. This comes from a recommendation from the last video. I was hesitant to do it because shadow chrome is pretty thin. It's just three thin layers. However, with all this nice clear coat on, I think it's gonna be possible. I'm actually only gonna try this on the 2K clear mirror, and I'm only gonna do it on the section that has black chrome and the section that has shadow chrome with adhesion promoter. So here's the black chrome section. I've done a little sanding. I could probably do a little more. You can see the little dots there showing that I haven't quite smoothed it out completely. And here's the adhesion promoter section with shadow chrome over it. I've done the sanding there. And now we're just gonna polish them out and see if there's any difference. 
I'm gonna use Meguiar's Ultra Cut Compound and this random orbital polisher. The adhesion promoter is a big source for texture here, and I think it improved slightly, but it's really hard to get the sort of texture and light refraction that occurs from that adhesion promoter underneath the base coat. You may be able to get it looking better, but I still don't recommend using adhesion promoter. It really changes the look of the shadow chrome. Now I'll polish up the black chrome and see how it comes out. There's actually very little difference, a slightly better look, but it's hard to see on camera. Right there is where I sanded it out and polished it. And it certainly feels better, and from my view, not on camera, there was a slight difference. Now finally, I wanna do a little bit of a durability test. Shadow Chrome, in the very first instance I did it with no clear coated adhesion promoter, chipped off pretty easily and faded. So in this case, I wanna just take a screwdriver to each of these, one with the regular clear and one with the 2K clear. And of course, I found that the lacquer clear definitely does not protect it as well. It scrapes easier and it scratches easier with the corner of the screwdriver. The black chrome was a little more resistant and the scuffed areas for both paints didn't seem to change how well it stuck. And lastly, with the lacquer clear and adhesion promoter on both paints, it didn't seem to improve the adhesion at all. It seemed to chip as well and maybe even a tiny bit better. Lastly, we will test the panel that has 2K clear, and it definitely had more resistance. I mean, immediately I could see how much thicker it was on the edges, and then from there, it didn't scrape or come off quite as easily, and when I used the corner of the screwdriver, it certainly didn't scratch as well. Any scratches that occurred with the same pressure I used before on the lacquer, uh, these could probably be buffed out, but on the lacquer clear, they were definitely scratches. So I really like that about the 2K clear. For the rest of the sections, the outcome was similar to the lacquer clear. Uh, they were more resistant with 2K clear, but the black chrome actually seemed to chip up easier with fingernails than the shadow chrome. I was really surprised by that, and it didn't matter if there was adhesion promoter or not. But no matter what, the 2K clear certainly helped both the look and durability of the finish on all panels. So overall, my conclusion is that number one, 2K Clear is so much better of a product, and yes, we know that, but it does double the cost of the project if you're using, say, Shadow Chrome with $20 a can 2K Clear. But the clear coat is just so much nicer that you would almost be dumb not to use it on any project you have. Adhesion Promoter was the biggest culprit on ruining the finish and increasing the texture of the last video where I did Shadow Chrome on my badges. And because of this, I realized that I think that Shadow Chrome is still great if you apply it without Adhesion Promoter and you put 2K Clear over it. And that's why I went ahead and redid my badges with it. And they came out so much better. They have reflectivity like Chrome. They are smooth because of the 2K Clear. And I think they're gonna resist fading and chipping more with that thick layer of 2K Clear on them. However, applying Shadow Chrome is still a little bit of a challenge and I highly recommend that you practice with it first on some test piece like I did. Shadow Chrome is a little thinner and I did hang the parts vertically which resulted in Shadow Chrome sort of leaking down to the edges and it's a little thicker around the sections that gravity took it. So in some ways, maybe spray it and then lay it down again so it can sort of spread out more evenly across the surface and you don't have these inconsistent sections of black chrome. All right, there you have it. It looks like Shadow Chrome is the winner again. The Rust-Oleum Black Color Chrome was okay. It just wasn't the finish I was looking for, but maybe it's something you could use on one of your projects. Also, I'm definitely not using Adhesion Promoter with Shadow Chrome. It definitely makes the surface less shiny. And hopefully the 2K Clear is gonna help seal in the Shadow Chrome. I kinda doubt it because if your base coat doesn't stick, the top coat's probably not gonna stick. But we'll see, and you know I'm gonna update you later. So if you wanna see that update, be sure to like my video so that these videos can get more views. I really appreciate that. And hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when that update video comes out. All right, thanks so much for watching the Jet Fuel Only channel. I'll see you next time. Knowledge, knowledge,